What's up, homie? In today's video, we're going to be using a brilliance to digitize this cute bunny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from objects that are in the back to objects that are in the front, which is basically the ears, this part of the ear, work my way down over here, over all the way over here to this part, this part, go back up here and to the rest of the ear and the hair and then get back to this part okay so i'm gonna start right here i'm gonna use the the draw the cards tool remember if you don't hold shift it's gonna be a curved point but if you hold shift it's gonna be a straight point so i'm gonna start with the straight point and then i'm i'm gonna eventually do the curves over here on certain parts, I'm going to do straight. Other parts, I'm going to do the curve. And if you mess up, you can just press back face. Okay, I'm going to take a little chunk of the, this object. I'm going to click the draw points. I'm going to hold the shift to draw a straight line. Press enter. Assign it to be a run. Draw with point. Let me draw with column. I'm going to hold shift. It's pretty repetitive. I'm gonna press enter. And I'm gonna basically, I'm gonna start at the same point, but because it's a different angle, sometimes I like to end it, end it instead of continuing. So I'm gonna shift. I'm gonna, I'm gonna release it. Uh, we'll shift right here and right here I'm gonna stop and the reason is we're gonna have to do this whisker and I don't want it to be um a column over a column because then that doesn't come out like good so I'm gonna do draw with points and right here I'm just gonna make it a little run enter make that a run do this part and then continue. Do the same for all of the whiskers. Enter. Run. Enter. Run. Column. Enter. Run. I'll take a chunk of this part. Enter. Run. Column. Um, I know a lot of people using brilliance. I'm just not sure exactly what level everybody uses. So I'm gonna try to cover all the levels, but I gotta get more. Um, I gotta get I gotta get more designs that I could actually like show on video. I think my next one is I'm gonna show you guys how to digitize like a company logo. Enter, run, column, enter, point, run, column, enter, Run. Enter. Same thing. Basically. 
might speed up the I might speed this up on future videos because I don't really like sounding too repetitive in videos. Curve. I'm put enter right here. There we go. Okay, for this one, curve. I'm gonna stop it right here. Enter. And the reason why is because I have to work this point. I gotta do this, this, this part, and then I'll do this whole year. But I gotta run over here. Yeah, we'll see. So let me just make it a run. A run, make it a column. Enter. I can actually still do this one. So I'll make that actually hold on. Control C, Control V. I'm gonna get create outline, reverse point, and I'm gonna make both of these a run. So basically, this one's gonna run from here to there, and the one I just copied and pasted in reverse, and let's go from here and then back to the point. Okay, so I'm gonna actually run back down here. Enter, run stitch, column tool. This part okay. enter. Run over here. Actually, let me do this one first. Enter, run, column. Enter. Enter. Run. Column. Up. Oh, wrong one. Column. Enter. And I'm just gonna do the rest of this shape. Wait. No, I messed up. Okay, but not that hard to fix. So from here, twenty nine. Okay, there we go. So 29. So I'm going to delete 30. I'm going to go ahead and do this part of the bottom part of the year. Most of the time, just rearranging the sequence. So enter. And I'm going to make a run stitch from here to this. Enter, run. What was it 29? Okay, 29. I'm gonna move the, the run one to. No. Start. Okay. I'm gonna change the start one to over here. And I'm gonna make a run stitch from here to here. Enter. I'm gonna make it a run. Okay, so what is it? 29. I'm gonna move this one to where 29 is. And then it's gonna be this one. So this one will be 30. And then, I mean, yeah, it'll be 31. Then from 31, it'll be, I'll move this one right here. Then it'll go to this, run to the top one, and then do that top part. And now we're good. Well, now we're in a good order. Column. See, rid of that.
That's just this part of the year. Let me know what you guys, what videos you guys want to see. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, my next video is gonna be a a reply to all the comments that I've gotten that I haven't had a chance to respond to. Enter. Doesn't gotta be perfect, but if you do wanna like change it up and like fix it. You just adjust it. Okay. So from here, we're gonna do a run stitch over here. Run column bit more. Enter. This is what we have right now. Let's see how we're gonna do it. We're gonna run, run to this part right here, enter, run, column. We're over here, column, C. Enter. I'm actually gonna move this more over here. That way it covered. Okay, and I'm gonna change the endpoint to over here. I'm gonna do a run to the top. Enter, run, column tool, curve. Enter where it ends, change it to over here, then column. Enter, whoops, I don't like this. Change the endpoint to over here. Okay, so what can I do? Actually, I'm not going to do this part. I'm going to make a, a run. That way I could do this so it could look like it's in order. Oh, I should have done this part <laughs> first. Oh, well. See, right here. Enter. Run. Then I'm going to go from that part to this part over here. Enter. Run. Column. Enter. Run again. Enter. Run. Column. Enter. Run.
enter another column and basically I'm just gonna finish this part of the year I'm gonna fill up the insides Look, certain parts you don't like, just press backspace and go back and fix it to how you would like it. Okay. Enter. This is what we have right now. I still gotta do this. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this part of the ears. So basically, a column. Enter column other so ear over here. Enter another column. Enter. I don't want this one to be too close to the other one, so I'm gonna move it. There we go. Now I'm gonna do all the little details over here. On on these, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make it a run stitch. Run. I'll change it up to run stitches in a bit. I think that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna select all of these. Change it to a run. Everything. What color should I change it to? Color. I'm gonna change it to blue. That way, um, I'm gonna change it to green. That way, I know it kind of stands out. Okay. So now I gotta do the whiskers, the mouth. So let's start the whiskers. So same thing. Draw column. Hold this right here, and then I'm gonna release it. Yeah. Actually, when I do this, this is what I pay attention to. You see this green part? It's the outline of the other one. Take a little bit chunk of it. That way, there's no gap. Enter. This one, enter, enter. Enter. Him on the other side. No. Uh, 
I mean, like this one. Enter. Enter. I'm actually going to upload this file, so if you're still here watching it, um, I'm going to have this file available to download too. I mean, the project file. See? I'm going to do the eyebrows. Enter. Enter. All right, let's see. Okay, now we're going to do the mouth, the eyes, and the nose. I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with the mouth, column, enter, run stitch, enter, run, column, Uh, here I'm gonna press enter. Gonna do a run. So basically, the bottom over here. Bottom. Enter. Okay, so we got those bottom ones done already. Now let's go to, see. I could run up here and do this bottom part because it's basically the divides right here. Enter, run, column. I don't like this part right here. much all right enter so let's focus on doing this this and then the whole big part right here run stitch enter run Alam Enter and point and it over here. I'm gonna do another column. Enter. And change the endpoint over here. Column. Wait, no, we're not going to do that right now. Go into the other side. Do it for over here. Run. Column. 
You might notice on the other side, I didn't do the bottom part first. So I could rearrange that. That way it doesn't look bad. Run, column. Enter, change the endpoint. Here, column. Okay, we gotta take care of this one right here. There we go, right here. Okay. Chunk right here. Okay. Enter. You can adjust it to how you want. So some some parts kind of look bigger than others, but when you embroider, it, it's still gonna look different. So. If it's too big or too small for you, just how you want. Okay, um, change the endpoint. But remember, I told you um, I made. Let me see where is it. Eighty-two. Okay, so I'm gonna just shift them. I'm gonna put the one on top of the other. So this one be at the bottom. This will be at the top. But the only thing I gotta change now is the runs. I'm gonna drag the run all the way to the top. Change the start point, which is the screen. No, okay, this one. I'm gonna put it right here. So, where's it at? Hold on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what did I just do? Let me see. 82. With this and that's gonna run to okay so let me delete this let's see that start point okay so 80 remember 80 so i'm gonna go from this to this part enter run so it was 80 right with 80 yeah okay so 80 it goes from where the red dot is here the two right here runs to the top over here then does this one it starts right here and let me change the end point the same spot and i'm gonna make the start point for the other one be right there and then it'll be a run to this part okay now we're good so now we're at the end right here okay start end point perfect now we're gonna do this part of the node so this part of the node will shift for this part it's kind of divided but kind of like a wide type shape okay enter and and they're like right here curve it curve straight curve 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 straight curve straight curve Straight curve, straight, straight. I just need to touch both of these. Enter. There we go. So now we have the nose, and 
I'm gonna do an outline for the eyes as well. Just because I don't like it just being a flat out tatami. So Okay, so for the eyes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the circle shape. And I'm actually just gonna make a regular circle. I'm gonna put it like close to the middle that I can. I'm gonna change it to a satin border. Okay, no, satin border. We're gonna adjust where the black these black parts are here. Where you can adjust it. Because okay. I don't like the little like on it but right here on the blue part you could adjust it and turn it how you want um for this one i'm actually gonna make it 1.5 gonna click on it control c oh did i do control c control v I'm gonna move to the other side but again like i said just adjust it I'm gonna click Control T, Control V. I'm gonna change that to a fill. There's gonna be a fill first and then the border. And then I'll do the same thing Control C, Control V, change that to a fill. How do I turn off the image? Okay. So for the eyes, um, same thing, you guys could just do a circle. And a fill. C, control C, control V. To this side. Obviously, change it so it fits that eye. Turn this back on. This is going to be white. White. Here, white. And all of these are going to be. Color emerald black back. Let's put it like that. This is what we have right now. I think it's pretty good. Um, if you want to fill it in, literally you just go around the whole object. But what I recommend is say we have vectors. On this. I do have vector, but I don't know how to draw with vector on this software. Basically, you separate, let me see. I'll just do like an example. So you would separate this part, like run. You would separate this part, the head, from the direction of the ears. So the face would be one angle, that this ear part, this part of the ear would also be one angle. This part as well would be one angle. And then this part would be a, a different angle. The, um, the nose. See the nose real quick. Draw with points. You basically um always stay in the middle of your that in border enter fill with it red pink pink you want pink I remember all all your colored parts, like your actual colored parts, instead of your um, what's it called? All your outlines. All, your outlines always go last, but we always draw them first, so we have like visual of where the um our fill line should go. So let's see. Turn off the um, what is it called? The stitches, and basically it would just be going through. The whole outline of it but the middle part that way when you border it there's no gap 
All right, so I'm not gonna do the fills for this design. Um, it was just to be like outlines and run stitches and basic fill. I'm gonna I'm gonna be posting more in depth tutorials. I'm gonna plan it out better. Um, but if you watch to the end, remember the file will be in the description so you can download it. If you wanna complete the fills for the face and the ears, you'll just create its own angles for the face for this part of the year, this part of the year, and this part of the year going down. This all fills different angles. This could be either the teeth or the tongue. Up to you. If you find this tutorial helpful, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. More tutorials will be coming soon. I'm going to be getting more images and planning it better. So thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.